morning. We're going to be following those. I'm watching the updates come down. I'm also monitoring uh, this station out of Hawaii. You know, they are covering this. And a lot of people on edge out there uh, just heard from a friend in Hawaii who has made their way to higher ground. They live right near the coast. They're being evacuated. Just a tense situation. This 8.9 earthquake caused major damage for hundreds of people in Japan, triggering that 13-foot tsunami there that really caused a lot of the damage on top of that, sweeping away boats, cars, and homes as widespread fires now are burning out of control. Uh, you can see some pictures behind me that just really kind of tell the story here. Unbelievable stuff. Daniel Garcia joins us now from the National Earthquake Information Center. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the size of this quake? 8.9. This is hard for a lot of us to comprehend because most of us have never seen an earthquake number go that high. Yeah, it is. I mean, um, it's hard to imagine. Just try to think uh, in a piece of Sea floor around 250 miles length and around 40, 50 miles width that is moving uh, just all of a sudden in a couple of minutes, moving up all the water that is above it. Uh, just, yeah, in a couple of minutes. That's something around a magnitude 8.9 earthquake. Daniel, I'm looking at a map on my computer right now of uh, the Hawaii, the big island in Hawaii, and I can see that, that there have been a lot of uh, smaller earthquakes. Is there a big concern that there may be more and they may be larger in Hawaii? Uh, no, I think that's not the main concern about Hawaii. I mean, Hawaii is a seismically active area. It's a volcanic area. It has usually lots of earthquakes, not very large, but they can go up to... 6, 6.5, 6.9, some cases. So, but in this case, we are not expecting larger earthquakes necessarily in Hawaii. We are expecting yet. Uh, we're waiting for the tsunami and, yeah, perhaps some trigger volcanic activity. Okay, well, we're going to be watching that. We know you guys are, and uh, thank you for helping us to cover this this morning. Daniel Garcia with the National Earthquake Information Center. We appreciate that.